Skoda has sold nearly 4 million Octavias so far. It's always been a no-nonsense car that offers lots of metal for your money. Now a new third generation Octavia is here. It's even bigger, but also more sophisticated and more expensive. Has Skoda messed with its winning formula? Now you probably know that Skoda is part of the giant Volkswagen group and that underneath this new Octavia is actually the latest Mark 7 Volkswagen Golf. But that's a good thing as it gives Skoda access to a range of very impressive engines. The car I'm driving today is the best seller of the range, the 105 brake horsepower 1.6 diesel. Its exhaust emits just 99 grams of CO2 per kilometer, low enough for free car tax. That's a strong incentive, especially for company car drivers. And on the road, this very efficient engine feels punchy enough to keep pace with traffic. I'd go for the 1.4 petrol instead though. It's more powerful and more refined. And although fuel economy isn't as good, it's 850 pounds cheaper to buy in the first place. Read our guide to choosing between petrol and diesel cars and use our free cost calculator to work out which is best for you. It might share its oily bits with the Golf, but the Octavia is much longer and much roomier inside. There's plenty of space for adults in the back and the boot is huge. Its size distances it from Skoda's smaller rapid hatchback and puts it on par with cars from the next class up, like the BMW 3 Series and Hyundai i40. Build quality wouldn't shame the likes of BMW either. The Octavia is well made and well equipped. Even basic S models get Bluetooth, a DAB radio and a touchscreen media system. There are also loads of features that make this car easy to live with. There's a refrigerated glove box to keep your sandwiches cool. There's an ice scraper here inside the fuel filler. Great for winter mornings. And we know which members hate those puncture repair kits and want cars with a full size spare wheel. And that's exactly what the Octavia's got. That's all very sensible stuff, but perhaps the most surprising thing about this new Skoda is how good it feels from behind the wheel. It takes corners with an agility that makes the old Octavia feel flat footed. And ride comfort is pretty good too. It's still no sports car, of course, but this is the first time that a standard diesel Octavia has been fun to drive. We've had hundreds of comments from happy owners of the previous two Octavias in the Witch Car Survey, the largest of its kind in the UK. Let's pick a couple of comments at random. Solid, reliable and good value for money. Forget the badge, look at the quality. And simply, don't hesitate, buy one. Clearly then, this latest Octavia has a lot to live up to. Time will tell if it can win the hearts of owners like the older cars, but my first impressions are very good. Yes, prices have gone up by about 10%, but it's still about 1,500 pounds less than an equivalent Golf. For a car this spacious and sensible, that's still great value for money. Click here to read our first drive of the Skoda Octavia, or read our full lab test reviews for two of its rivals the Hyundai i40 and Toyota Avensis.